the 50th episode of Terrific TV Toys. Wow, I can't believe it. And to mark this occasion, we're gonna celebrate a very special 50th anniversary in television history. It was 50 years ago today, on the day this episode drops online, that Charlie Brown and the Gang debuted in a cartoon special on the small screen. December 9th, 1965. It was the Christmas special, of course, but for this episode of T3, we'll turn our focus to another animated Peanuts special. Snoopy's reunion featuring all of his siblings was the 34th television special for the Peanuts, and it debuted on May 1st, 1991 on CBS. Right now, you're looking at toys of three of those Beagle siblings, all of which were purchased at Cedar Point in Sandusky, Ohio, which has a Snoopy theme to it in the park, throughout the park, and which even before it ever had a Snoopy theme to it was still one of the most amazing and wonderful places on Earth. So let's meet these three boys. Let's start with... Olaf. Oh, he's so roly-poly and cute. I love Olaf. And this one was purchased first out of the three. This was in August 2013 at Cedar Point at the gift shop there. And they had a selection of um, the other two plus Belle and Spike and, and all of that. But I saw little Ollie and I just had to have him. He's so cute and very big. He's known to be the sibling that is the um, widest, the most robust, the most... Um, rotund. <laughs> he likes seconds in his dinner bowl. And the character of Olaf was first seen in the Peanuts comic strip in 1989. Then he was seen again in 1994. But on Snoopy's reunion, he was introduced on the small screen. Um, so he appeared in that TV special. Then he also appeared in a later um, primetime television special, I Want a Dog for Christmas, um, Charlie Brown. And this was in 2003. Olaf spends a lot of time with his brother Andy. They seem to be seen together a lot. And then on Snoopy's reunion, when you watch all the little puppies and the little dogs together, all the siblings playing in a band, Olaf is the one who plays the jug. <laughs> you might remember that. Oh, he's just so adorable. So this plush toy is very soft and furry all over the place. And let me see, he does have a tag down here. Let's just glance at it real quick. Peanuts, surface washable only, all new materials, yada yada, made in channel, made in China. Um, Cedar Fair Entertainment Company, which of course the company that owns Cedar Point, and it gives the address and telephone number. Production date, October 2011. And then it gives the cedarfair.com website. So that's Olaf. All right, the next one that I purchased at Cedar Point was little Andy. And Andy is so furry and fuzzy, and he's got this kind of mottled texture to his fur. He's really, really fuzzy. He's got his little t-shirt on, just like with Olaf, only his is green, of course, and they all have their names on them. Like I said, there's a spike and a bell at the store, too, at, at the gift shop at Cedar Point. I don't know about the other siblings, because um, there were Including Snoopy, there were eight siblings all together that you saw on Snoopy's reunion. There were two of them that only appeared on that TV show, um, Snoopy's reunion. They never appeared in the comic strip, and that was Molly and Rover. So they were um, TV show exclusives. But Andy appeared in the um, comic strip first in 1994 with Spike and Olaf. He also um, plays the drums in the band. So that's his gig. He's playing the drums. He's actually the first Peanuts character to have originated in a cartoon and then crossed over into the comic strip. So you first saw him in Snoopy's reunion on the small screen and then you saw him in the comic strip and he was evidently based on a fox terrier that Charles Schultz owned in the late 80s mid 1990s 
And like Olaf, he appeared again in the television special, I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. So this is little Andy. He's got light blue kind of beige ears. He's got his tag on him still, too. I kept that on. Camp Snoopy is the name of that. And I paid $12.99 for him. I'm assuming I paid about the same for the others. And let me see. Cedar Fair Entertainment Company, designed and manufactured exclusively for, made in China, etc. Um, he's got his plastic beige eyes here, and then he's got stitched beige mouth and a little beige or I guess tan tail you can call that color what you want and then same tags as Olaf his also has a production date only this date is November 2010 and then it has got the name and address of the company and all of that too and then also he's got some quite a bit of detail on his little paw here you can see he's got stitching um, between so Nice little detail on Andy and so fuzzy and sweet. Okay, the third one is Marbles. And Marbles is a lot like Snoopy in shape. He's kind of beige though. This is not bright white and I don't think you can really see this on the camera, but he's got a beige, a truly like an off-white or cream color, a beige color t-shirt, but then his fur kind of matches that. He's almost monochromatic with that. So I think uh, maybe if I put the two of them together, can you see that Andy has more of the bright white fur and Marbles is an off-white. So anyways, Marbles, another one of the siblings. I purchased this one in July 2015, most recently. And if I didn't mention, Andy was October 2014, so he was about a year ago. But Marbles purchased um, July 2015. And Marbles, the character, Snoopy's brother, first appeared in the comic strip in 1982, in the fall of that year. And so he appeared in the comic strip before he was on Snoopy's reunion. And he's evidently the smartest one of the siblings. <laughs> He's got spotted ears. Those are so cute. He's got a lot of spots. Um, so yeah, smartest one of the siblings. And then he also, in addition to Snoopy's reunion, then he appeared, appeared later like the other two brothers in I Want a Dog for Christmas, Charlie Brown. And in the band on Snoopy's reunion with his siblings, he is the one who plays the banjo. So you can see he's got some nice detail here with the stitching on his paw also. His shirt, on this copy anyways, his shirt is kind of printed off center. You can tell. I'm not sure. I think that's just um, a mistake by the manufacturer. And then he's got his nice fuzzy padded feet, little brown tail, and a spot in the back that's brown, and very similar tags to his two brothers here. Let's see. Production date. Oh, he's later. Production date, December 2014 and then all the rest the same on those tags. And oh, they raised the price for marbles <laughs> in only a year's time, actually less than a year's time. They had raised the price like three bucks, $15.99 it says. And then you got the just the peanuts tag, whereas Andy's tag is Camp Snoopy. So marbles, they changed the tag too on these, but the back looks basically the same. So that is our little marbles. To learn more about all of the Snoopy siblings and Snoopy and Charlie Brown in general, um, check out, there's a website called 5centsplease.org, and I'm guessing you can understand the reference to that domain name. If you go there, you can find the Peanuts animation and video page, and it's just a wealth of information. It has chronicled every production of Charlie Brown and the Gang from the small screen, and now the big screen, since they've released a big um, big screen movie for them too. But every one of the TV shows and primetime TV specials and all of that is done by a guy named Scott McGuire. So I recommend check that out because lots of good information. And then also there's a 50th anniversary special airing this year to mark the special 50th anniversary for Charlie Brown and the Gang. And the first time it aired on November 30th, just over a week ago, and um, it's going to air again on Christmas Eve, December 24th. So if you didn't catch that the first time, set your DVR, catch it the second time, because 
like BRB TV. They are celebrating the 50th anniversary of Peanuts appearing on the small screen. So thanks for watching. Not only is this the end of episode 50 of Terrific TV Toys, it's also the end of season two of Terrific TV Toys. And we've got a great season three planned for the show starting right off in January. We're going to get crazy with um, a couple really big series of figures based on TV shows. So stay tuned for that. And thanks for coming along for the ride. Mm -hmm.